Hello, my YouTube friend. We have a lot of boxes to go through today. We have 10 giant boxes full of Funko Pops. Woo, this is gonna be a long one. All right, I think it's all store trades and I have one Grail Pop I bought on eBay and I think a couple little extra things. So we're probably at almost 300 pops and probably over four or five thousand dollars worth of value. I don't even know the value off the top of my head. I just know that we have a ton of pops to go through today. All right, let's just start digging into these boxes. Okay, I think we're gonna just start right off the bat with this grail because I'm really excited to open this box and I just want to make sure I arrived okay. <laughs> I bought it, let's see. Uh, I bought it a couple weeks ago and it seemed to be shipped in a nice box. And I'm really excited. I've actually wanted this pop for about three years now. Every time I look on eBay for it, it either just sold or it hasn't been listed in a while or the price was just way too high. So I this one I ended up paying, I think about $230 shipped. It was a little bit more than I wanted to pay, but it's a super rare pop. Okay, let's open this box. All right, that's what it looks like inside. I think we're good. Okay, so I bought this pop from a guy that sells magic cards normally. So it kind of makes sense. Yeah. Open it all right, okay. Pull out of the box, get rid of the box. All right. Okay, it looks pretty minty. Oh yeah. <laughs> Okay, the plastic's a little bit scuffy, but that's okay. The rest of him looks in great shape. And the plastic, I should be able to polish up a little bit just to fix that. This is amazing. So we have a Nicole Bolas. It's the Pro Tour version. This one, there's supposed to be only 60 of them. I think there's a bit more. I'm guessing there's probably actually like two or 300 of them. But I think you could only get it if you were on the Pro Tour. And what year is this? It's either 2014 or 2018. I'm thinking 2014 because it's been a while since I've been trying to get this guy and it's uh it's super hard to get oh that's awesome so happy to have that pop I've been looking for him for so long and I think his price should stay pretty stable at 200 he might go up eventually if people start going after him or if they do like a magic cartoon or tv series and magic really grows in popularity I think he will grow in value but for now, I'm thrilled to have them. And just being such a limited piece and an awesome six inch pop, super thrilled with this pop. Awesome, yes. <laughs> all right, I wish I could just buy more grails like that all the time. Okay, I have this fun package to go through. It's, I haven't done one of these in a while, so I'm actually kind of excited to go through this because I'm gonna do a t-shirt transition. I love doing those. So this is a Threads by Zavi monthly subscription box. I believe it's relatively affordable, $10 if you do like a year subscription. I think $12 if you pay for one month. There might be a shipping price. I forget the exact cost for these, but you're gonna get a t-shirt. That's kind of like a fun nerdy t-shirt and a graphic novel in each box. And I finally got a referral link. So if you guys wanna try out this box, I'm gonna actually put that link in the description below. All right, let's dig in this box. I actually opened it up a little bit and then I noticed that they didn't have a box inside like they did in the past. So I kind of looked at it a little bit. Let's look at the graphic novel first. Okay, let's see what we got. Oh, this is really neat. Okay, so this is from Eagle Moss. This is the Star Trek Discovery Designer Starships. And uh, I think it's just a whole bunch of pictures of Starfleet ships. Oh, it's every ship from Discovery Season 1. So it's like a whole... Let's actually open it up and check it out. What's cool about Zavi is they are a UK company. So yes, you can order it in the US, but if you are in the UK, they're actually a great place to find Funko Pops and other things for a good price because you're not going to be paying the import costs. So it's actually Zavi's a great website for you guys to buy from if you're in the UK. Okay, let's check this out. Oh yeah, this is cool. So just like a whole bunch of illustrations and diagrams of all the uh, ships from Star Trek Discovery love star trek so this just looks like a really awesome book yeah that is really cool okay let's check out the t-shirt oh wait, there's a rathacon just poster or mini poster that's neat love the rathacon uh uh it's a harry potter t-shirt okay that's cool it says don't let the muggles get you down okay that's actually pretty neat do really enjoy Harry Potter. All right, let's get this on. All right. Whoosh. 
All right. Oh, it's a very comfortable shirt. That was great. All right. I'm really happy with that. Awesome. All right, let's get back to some pops. All right, this box comes from Chris. It's one of two boxes of stuff I traded for him. It's a, um, I think there's a lot of 112 Collective Mezco figures in here, which I'm really excited to add to my collection. I've actually wanted to add a lot more of those to my collection. I think I have one or two, so this is going to add another, like, ten. <laughs> really excited to go through this. And I think there's some cool bolted Funko Pops and just more interesting things. All right, let's dig through this box. Okay, let's check out this box. Okay, we have uh, the really cool FYE exclusive Drax with Groot. Absolutely love that one. That one is adorable. We have, let's see, let's get the pops out. We have the Diamond Jack Skeleton. It's a Hot Topic exclusive. He is a really neat pop. Okay, we have the Diamond Dumbo. It's a Hot Topic exclusive. He is really cool. So far, I think I have all these. So they'll probably either go to my patrons or I'll, I'll put them out for sale. Okay, next we have Pepper from American Horror Story. Very cool vaulted pop. One of my patrons, I think, is looking for these sets. Actually, I think a couple of my patrons. So I'm going to have to figure out who gets what. Okay, next we have Hyperdermic Sally from American Horror Story. She is cool. I forget if I have this one. I think I'm actually missing one of them from the set. So that one I'm going to have to double check. Very cool. All right, uh, let's do a few more pops before we dig into these 112 figures. Uh, next, we have Rubber Man from American Horror Story. This actually might be one I'm missing as well. I'm going to double check that. I know there was two American Horror Story pops that were fake in this collection. I don't think any of these are them, but I'm going to have to double check those. And also do a little comparison for you guys. Okay, we have 112 figure here that he didn't have the box for. So I had to pay him a little bit cheaper, but we have the John Birth All Punisher. He is neat. Just the detail on the face. He looks so realistic and they do such a nice job on the clothing. I've never seen a figure this small with as much detail. It's like the stitching and everything just looks amazing for a figure this size. So he's going to my collection. All these are going to my collection except for one figure that's going to my friend Sean. So he's really cool. And he had all the accessories and stuff. So in here we have the jacket, extra hands, a bunch of the guns, extra head. And the base for the Punisher. I think the rest of the stand is in here somewhere. Or maybe, oh no, you know what? He doesn't have a stand. He just, they click on the base through their foot. So that is really cool. All right, let's do some more of these 112 figures. So this was the previews exclusive. Actually, let me move this back a little bit. Okay, so this is the previews exclusive X-Force Wolverine, I think. Which all these figures were opened at one point. I'm not sure if he actually had them on display or not. But what I'll do is I'll do a little spinny of these just so you can see them better as I go through them. And that's the back of them. So that's actually really cool. Uh, we have the old school 112 Wolverine. Again, really neat. I'm gonna do a little spinny of all these just so you can see the details a bit. Then we have the Old Man Logan 112. This is the one that's going to my friend Sean. He loves Old Man Logan. So I told him I'd trade that to him. And then we have the Thor Ragnarok Hulk. This one is amazing. I love all the details on him. This slides up so you can kind of see him. Now he's all in the plastic, so I'll do a spinny of him as well. And, uh, okay, we have some more pops. We have the original Roger Rabbit. I think mine, the box is damaged, so this might actually be a box upgrade for me. So that's very cool, love Roger Rabbit. Uh, okay, we have a Baseball Fury from the Warriors. Love the Warriors. Very cool pop. Every time I get him, he goes really quick. And I think two of my patrons want him. So this one's probably already claimed. Then we've got a, uh, another 112 Logan. So it's just Wolverine in his leather jacket and stuff. That one's amazing. And... 
finally we have a 112 Popeye. Very cool looking figure. So all these 112s are going into my collection. All right, that box was a ton of fun. This box comes from Trisha. I bought uh, like four or five boxes full of pops from her a few weeks ago. It's a lot of really cool anime stuff. So this is gonna be an anime heavy collection, but a really awesome collection to go through. All right, let's dig through this box. All right, let's see what's in here. Uh, okay, I have one little bag here that was from Jody. So I did a whole box of hers last week and there was a few extra things that I put in this box. So this is a Hulk Pez. I think there's just stuff that I didn't fit into the box. A Dapper Sally Pez from A Nightmare Before Christmas. A Ghost Rider Pez. That's actually pretty neat. Okay. And then the rest of the stuff I believe is all from Trisha. We have an All Might Pez from My Hero Academia. That's actually really neat. We have, let's see, a Blanche Pez from Golden Girls. That's kind of fun. It's funny that they did this 80s sitcom stuff. Uh, okay, we have a Bazooka Joe Mystery Mini. That actually might have came from Jody. Uh, Bruce Banner figure. This is one of my all-time favorite Funko Pop sets. We have that with the original Grey Hulk. So these came together as one set. I would like to see more Funko Pops where they do like a six inch with a regular size pop. I think that was such a cool set. So I have it already, but out of the box, I'm going to keep it just to have on display because that's one of my all-time favorite pops or all-time favorite pop sets. Okay, let me move these out of the way. Okay, we have the Battle of Fallen Angels from Cowboy Bebop. Really awesome deluxe set. I know two or three of my patrons likes Cowboy Bebop, so I'm actually going to double check their collections to see if that's something they need. Uh, we have some five-star My Hero Academia pops. So Choco. She is really cute. I love these sets. I kind of wish these figures were more popular. I think they're really adorable. And then we have the Deku. I love this one because it comes with the little All Might doll. And his little book with all the information in it from all the superheroes. Okay, that is really neat. I actually don't have any of those, so I'm happy to get them. Uh, we have the Shoto Todoroki. He comes with a Fire Blast and a Ice Blast. That is really neat. I would like to see more five stars of all the My Hero Academia figures. Like, you don't have to make any other set. Just make the My Hero Academia, because that's what I love. I mean, I love all kinds of stuff, but this set would be cool as a big, giant set. Look how we have the All Might five star. He is super neat. And I think that's it for the five stars in there. Then we have... Uh, Sonic the Hedgehog cereal. This is a complete sealed box, so I'm just going to keep it complete sealed because there's not going to be a lot of these left. Uh, it does come with the awesome little minifigure. I kind of like collecting them out of the box, but I also like when I get a complete box. So that's really neat. We have another Pez. It's a Dorothy from the Golden Girls. That's fun. We have the Mariachi Freddy. It's a Funko Shop exclusive. I love these Freddy figures. I don't think they've done one in a while, but I need to figure out which ones I still need and complete that set. We have another Ad Icon Mystery Mini. That might come from Jody as well. Okay, then I think what's left in here is Pops. Let me clear out the top here. Uh, oh, and then we have one more Ad Icon. Pretty sure that came from Jody as well. Oh, and one more small thing. Uh, okay, we have the Sapper Chase Dorbs from Blade Runner 2049. That's cool. I don't think I have them yet. Okay, we have one pop that was in a box. I forget if this was a rare one or just the way she had it protected. Uh, I don't think this one has a ton of value. Still a very cool pop. So, so we have uh, Sinead from Naruto. She looks really cute. That one I don't think I have yet. Going into the collection. We have a Beast Titan from Attack on Titan. Very awesome six inch pop. That one I think I have. So that one will be for sale. And we have a Krista from Attack on Titan. I can't remember if I have her or not. This might have been one of the few ones I still need. 
we have the Susuke Curse Mark. It's a convention exclusive from Naruto. This one, I think I have. I'm going to double check that though. He might be for sale. Oh, we got some Pez. Oh, okay. We have a Midoriya Pez from My Hero Academia. A little bit dusty, but that's okay. I'll clean that up. That's going into my collection. That's very neat. And we have a all for one Pez. I'm gonna, it's dusty as well. I got to clean that up a little bit. That is very neat. Also going to my collection. I kind of want to get all of my Hero Academia stuff out there. Whatever it is. Figures, statues, pops, Pez. I love it. The show. Okay, we have a previous exclusive from the Free Comic Book Day Loki. I don't think I have that one yet. So he's going into my collection. Very neat. Very awesome pop. We have a, a Midoriya My Hero Academia pop. Pretty sure I have him already. We have a Big Apple Con all for one. This one I'm pretty sure I have as well. All the My Hero Academia stuff. I'm going to check my patrons first because a few of them are collecting sets. So if, so if they don't have them, they're going to them. Uh, next we have the All Might Weekend Box Lunch Exclusive. I actually might need this one. This is the one that has hair glows, I believe. So that one might be going in my collection. And then the last pop in here is the Metallic All Might Barnes & Noble Exclusive. He is neat. That one I do have already. All right, that box was a ton of fun. All right, this is another box of pops from Trisha. Again, very anime heavy. I think this is going to be a lot of fun to go through. All right, let's dig through this box. Okay, let's dig through this box. I think this box is full of all anime stuff. Okay, let's see what we got. Uh, okay, we have Deku, the Hot Topic exclusive. Very cool. Pretty sure I have that one. All the My Hero Academia stuff. I have to double check my patrons first, though, before I sell it. Uh, okay, we have the Funko Shop exclusive Oodles. Very awesome ramen cup. I don't have that one yet. Actually, really excited to get that one for my collection. Next, we have Kenny from Attack on Titan. Don't think I have that one yet, so he's going into my collection. We have, oh, I love this one. We have the Alphonse Elric from Full Metal Alchemist. He is such a neat pop. I love the Hot Topic exclusive one with the two little cats, but this one's awesome as well. That one I have already, so he'll be for sale. Uh, we have the regular common Todoroki. That one I have already. Okay, we have the Edward Elric from Full Metal Alchemist. I think I have him, but I'm gonna have to double check that one. Okay, we have another Todoroki. We have the Convention Glows in the Dark exclusive. That one I'm pretty sure I have already. So that one I'm going to double check my patrons first. We have a Hang Hange from Attack on Titan. I don't think I have that one. That one I'm going to have to double check. I know some Attack on Titan stuff I just don't have. Okay, we have a Hitoshi Shinzo. It's a GameStop exclusive from My Hero Academia. I think I just got him recently. So that one's going into one of my patrons boxes probably. Most likely. Uh, oh, okay. We have the Toy Tokyo exclusive 2019 San Diego Comic Con Glows in the Dark Ultraman. Not a really in demand pop, but I think he's cool. I'm sure someone will want him. I do have him already. Okay, then we have the really cool Metallic Midoriya from FYE. He is neat. Pretty sure I have that one already, though. So he'll be going to probably one of my patrons' mystery boxes. A lot of patrons that like My Hero Academia. I don't blame him, though. I love it. It's a great cartoon. Uh, Super Sonic GameStop exclusive. Very awesome. I don't remember if I have that one or not. That's a double checker. I know I have a few uh, Super Sonics, I think. I forget which ones, though. Okay, next we have the Negatron 2017 San Diego Comic Con exclusive. That one I definitely have. So that's a duplicate. We have... Uh, the really cool Galactic Toys exclusive Shigaraki from My Hero Academia. I love that pop. That one I definitely have, though, so someone will want that. Could be a patron. It might be for sale in my shop. Uh, next... Oh, this is really neat. We have the 2020 San Diego Comic-Con exclusive Hello Kitty Robot. I love these mech Hello Kitties. This is my second one, I think. I need to get the rest of them. I don't know how many there are. I think there's like eight different. I want them all. She's amazing. Okay, next we have the uh, 
Tenya Lida GameStop exclusive. This one came with a t-shirt, I think. That one I have already. Again, I'm going to have to double check, though. See if any of my patrons needs him. Okay, next we have uh, the Common Deku. Pretty sure I have that one. Again, I'm going to double check with my patrons, just in case. I know a lot of them love that show. I love it, too. It's awesome. Uh, we have the really cool Chrome Ken Koneki from Tokyo Ghoul. Pretty sure I have that one as well. So that one will be for sale. And then we have the Naruto Hokage AAA anime exclusive. Uh, I think I have the Rare Chase, but not that version. So that one's probably going into my collection. I'm going to double check it, though, just in case. Uh, next, we have the cool Asia exclusive Mickey Mouse. Really love this one. I think I got him, oh, maybe two months ago. I forget, but I'm pretty sure I have that one already, though. So he'll be for sale. Okay, next we have the really cool teal chrome Batman. This one I get very often, but I think he's an amazing pop. I'm sure someone will want him. So he's a duplicate. Okay, next we have... Oh, I love this one. It's the My Melody Ochoco from My Hero Academia and Hello Kitty. It's a mashup. I love these Hello Kitty mashup ones. I don't really need this full set. It looks like there's six here. I think there's like two exclusives, so maybe eight total. I really want to get the rest of that set. She's adorable. That one's going into my collection. Okay. Ooh, okay. And then we have another one from that set. So we have the Hello Kitty All Might. She is amazing. Okay, so that one's definitely going into my collection. So I got two of the eight. I'll just have to track down the rest. Uh, okay, we have the Eljiro Kirishima. It's a box lunch exclusive metallic version from My Hero Academia. He is really neat. That one I think I have, so that's probably going to one of my patrons. Okay, and then we have... The Shota Aozawa, it's a Hot Top exclusive. This one I have already, so I'm gonna double check with my patrons, see if any of them need him. Uh, okay, we have a couple in protectors or sorter boxes. Let's see what we got. Uh, oh, this one's cool. We have the Evil Inuyusha, it's a Hot Topic exclusive. Or in, in I'm saying it wrong, but this is one I wanted, so I'm actually really happy to get that. Awesome pop, going into the collection. And then finally one more in a box. Let's see what we got. Uh, oh, okay, we have the, oh, we have a duplicate? Okay, so we have two of those. So one will be for sale or I'll double check my patrons to see if any of them want them. That is cool. All right, awesome box. All right, this is the second box from Chris. I think it's a lot more awesome uh, horror Funko Pops maybe and a few other things. I think there's actually a pop in here that I got from another Chris that I had in the last video. And I think there's a statue in this box. All right, this is gonna be fun. Let's dig through this box. Okay, let's go through here. Okay, so this box comes from Chris and this came from Chris from a week or two ago. All right. So first, uh, let's pull this one out. We have a really cool Elsa Mars and Ma Petite American Horror Story Pop, but this one's a bootleg. I'll compare it to a regular one in a second. Uh, okay. Okay, we have a... American Horror Story Twisty. Uh, I think this one is legit. So I'm going to compare this to the fake one. Okay. So a lot of times you can compare multiple pops from the same set because the boxes should match because they were designed and made at the same time. So a few things that you can notice between the two is this one is extra glossy. See, if you can kind of see in the reflection, it's kind of a little bit of texture, like a cardboard texture. This one is a lot more glossy. Um, the box, this box, I don't know how well you can kind of squeeze it and see like it's flimsier. The legit one feels more like solid cardboard. This one feels kind of thin. The, the way this font or the way the picture is printed, it's kind of slightly blurry. Uh, television looks funny too. Like just the font is off. The tele part looks kind of okay, but the vision part looks kind of off. So usually it's the first letters, but in this time it's the second letters. The color in the background and the circle here is a little bit off. Okay, let's go on the side here. The side looks pretty decent, although this pop here is more like solid color. Like you can kind of see the dots, but here the yellow dots are clearer. And the font actually doesn't look too bad, although this part might be kind of funky. And then if you look on the back, the like this 
slight, although this, the real one looks sort of pixelated. So that's actually just a flaw of the design, but everything looks slightly blurry and the colors are darker on this one. Okay, let's look at that side. Uh, again, the pop is off, the television is off, but it's not that bad. In pictures, it would be really hard because on the bottom too, it has a tag. So it kind of looks legit. It is a darker gray. That's not always a sense of a bootleg. Although if you look at this bootleg too, the box is shorter by like maybe a quarter of an inch. I've seen that a few times now where the bootlegs are actually a slightly smaller box. So that's one thing is you can compare size to other boxes. And then on top, this gray looks very like pixelated and printed on like an inkjet printer kind of look. And this looks more like just regular printed. And then again, the television's off and the pop's off. So too bad that's a fake. I ended up giving him $10 for the fake just to have for my own collection for reference. I do collect bootlegs, not for value, but because I like having the information. The value is in having them, being aware of them and having information. That information helps you from getting ripped off. Okay, next we have uh, Tyler Twins. This is also a bootleg. Again, it's got the, yeah, the television looks off. The printing looks off. Back again looks a little darker, darker, darker. So yeah, too bad that's a bootleg. Uh, okay, next we have the Red Baseball Fury. Really awesome pop. This one I do have already, but I think one of my patrons will want that. Very awesome pop. Got to move this back because we got one giant 10 inch pop. Actually, I'm going to move this to the side for a second. All right. Okay, next we have a 10 inch troll. This one is amazing. I love these troll pops and just the big giant 10 inch one. That is amazing. That one's going into my collection. I do want to finish up this set. I don't know how much more I need. I probably have most of them because I got most of them from Chris. So that's amazing. Okay, I bought this Hulk statue and I just realized it's broken. It's missing a piece right there, which I did not see when I bought it, which is a shame because I think I paid him a good chunk for this. Maybe like 50 bucks. Uh, all right, that's a little bit disappointing. I'm just going to see if someone will want to give me the 50 bucks I paid and try to break even on him. I originally thought he's going to be like a $150 statue, but uh, I'm a little disappointed now. <laughs> oh, well. Sometimes he makes mistakes. Yeah, he didn't break out. I don't, I don't know how I did not see that when I bought it. All right, a little bit of bummer, but that's okay. Sometimes you buy stuff and it's a little bit worse than you thought it was. Uh, okay, we have Dancing Groot. That one, I'm pretty sure I have already. We have the Rocket Raccoon from Guardians of the Galaxy, the common. Although I think it has value. That one I do have. Uh, this one's super cool. We have the... Papa Legba, Legba from American Horror Story. This one I did not have, so this one I'm actually really excited to add to my collection. And I looked at it, that one looks legit. And finally, we have the regular Thanos. That one I do have as well. So that one will be for sale. All right, so pretty awesome box. I enjoyed that. All right, this is another box of awesome pops from Trisha. I think, again, it's all anime stuff. I'm having a lot of fun going through this collection. And I know you guys who like anime are gonna enjoy this box as well. All right, let's stick to this box. All right, so we have another box from Trisha. This one is full of anime stuff. All right, this is gonna be fun. Uh, or, and a little bit of other stuff. We have a Kang and Kodos double set. I love this set. This is one of my all time favorite Funko Pop sets. Uh, this one I do have already, so he'll be for sale. Although I think two or three of my patrons want this one. So I gotta figure out who gets it. Might be going to Alex, might be going to someone else. Okay, and then we have a bunch in sorters. Let's get these all open. Ooh, okay, this one I do not have yet. Actually, really excited to get this one. So we have the Kurogiri. Is that how you say it? <laughs> not sure how you say it, but he is amazing looking. Such an awesome pop. Love that one. Okay, another one in a sorter. And, oh, okay. We have another evil in a Yashi. That one I will have for sale. Actually, I'll have two extras. So I think one of my patrons wants it. Then the other one will be for sale. Uh, okay, this is cool. 
So we have the 2019 New York Comic Con exclusive Vegeta. Very cool pop. Pretty sure I have that one already. We have uh, the Fun Club Freddy Funko. That one I do have. So he'll be for sale. We have the regular Vegeta. That one I do have already, so he'll be for sale. Got another sorter box. Oh, this is cool. I don't I don't remember if I have this one yet, but we have a Hello Kitty Lady Liberty mashup. I love all the Hello Kitty mashups out there, so I'm actually really happy to get that if I don't have it. I might have it. I have to double check that one. Okay, next we have uh, Notorious B.I.G. This one's always in demand in my shop, so he'll sell real quick. Okay, next we have the Lil Sweet from Dr. Pepper. Very cool ad icon pop. Uh, I think a few of my patrons want him, so I'll probably be going to him. If not, it'll be for sale because I have him already. Very cool pop. We have the Mirio Togata. It's a Chalice Collectibles exclusive. This one I have already, so he'll be for sale. But again, I gotta double check my patrons. Uh, we have the Natsu from Fairy Tail. It's the Chrome version. Very cool pop. I don't have that one. That one's going in my collection. Okay, next we have the All for One My Hero Academia Common. That one I'm pretty sure I have already. So he'll be for sale or he might be going to patrons. Gotta double check. Uh, we've got another sorter box. This one? Do I have this one? I'm going to have to double check. So we have the Child with Cup. I don't remember if I have this one. So that one might be going into my collection. They made so many different versions of the Child. I feel like I'm not going to be able to keep track of which ones I need and whatnot. Uh, oh, okay. This is a super cool double set. So we have the Super Tails and Super Silver. It's a GameStop exclusive, which I think was actually a San Diego Comic-Con exclusive. This one I think I got last year, so I'm pretty sure this one will be for sale. Or it might be going to one of my patrons. I have to triple, quadruple check that. All right. Next we have the green Jade Shenron. Love this pop. I think he's amazing looking. Do have that one already though, so he'll be for sale. Uh, ooh, okay, this one I really wanted, so I'm so happy to get it. So we have Spider-Man versus Spider-Man, Entertainment Earth exclusive. Absolutely love this one. That one's going into my collection. And we have the Kagomi Higarashi from Inya Inuyasha. I can't say that. <laughs> this one I don't have her, so that one's going in my collection. Very adorable looking pop. Happy to get that one. We have the Batman vs. Superman Walmart double set. Very cool pop. I enjoyed the Snyder Cut of the Justice League, so I think the demand for a lot of these DC Universe pops will probably go up because it was actually really good. I'm hoping that they start doing some movies to connect to it. Okay, next we have Rock Lee from Naruto. Uh, it's a Hot Topic exclusive. I don't know if I have that one. So that one actually might be going into my collection. We have another sorter box. Uh, okay. Okay, so this is the regular Biggie, but I don't remember his jacket being shiny like that. So I don't know if she customized this one, but he looks pretty cool. I'm gonna compare that to the one I have already and I might keep that one. All right, very cool. Love that pop. Okay, and then finally in this box, we have the Chrome Vegeta from Dragon Ball Z. That one, I think I have. I'm going to double check that one, though. So, very cool box. A lot of stuff I needed for my own collection. I'm really happy with it. This box comes from Lucy and her family. They actually dropped it off last weekend. And uh, they said to take my time. And they gave me a little bit of time to actually go through their boxes and price it out for them. So, I'm really thankful for that. So, that makes this a mystery box. And I love a good mystery. So, this is going to be a lot of fun. I think she actually traded in three boxes full of stuff. So, I'm going to have a lot of fun with this. All right, let's dig in. All right, this box comes from Lucy and her family. Total mystery. I have no idea what's in here. Let's take a peek. Uh, okay, there's some action figures. I thought it was pop stuff, but it looks like other stuff. All right, so let's look through this. Okay, we have a Batman Returns Catwoman. 
That is a really neat old school 90s figure. Love that. We have uh, old school Robin. That is very neat. Uh, we have a, what is it, Vader Elite Wrestling figure. That is cool. Most of this stuff I'll probably sell. I don't really collect that much of the older stuff. Although this is kind of cool. It's a Robin jet foil figure. That is actually really neat. I like that stuff. I love buying figures like this just because they sell well in my shop. So I'm happy to get them. Uh, okay, let's see what we got. We have a, what was it, 91, 92? Uh, 89. So we have a 89 Penguin. All right, that one I might consider keeping. That is really neat. And then we have a Adam Rose wrestling figure. That one will be for sale. I don't really collect the wrestling stuff. We have, uh, let's see, a Brodus Clay. Another wrestling figure. That is cool. These will sell really well in my shop. Wrestling stuff always does well. Uh, oh, okay. We have a Bruce Wayne. That's actually kind of neat. What year are these from? 91. Uh, I'm torn. I might end up keeping some of this early 90s, late 80s stuff. Love that stuff. Okay, and then we have a Robin. This is 89 as well. Uh, yeah, 89 Robin. Okay, that is really neat. And then we... Oh, this is cool. See, I had all these in the late 80s. When that Batman movie came out, I became such a Batman fan. I had to collect all the toys. So that's a really cool Joker. I might consider that as well. Or maybe not. I'm not sure. <laughs> okay, and then we have an AJ figure. She looks really cool. Uh, okay, we have some pop stuff. We have a collector core box. That's the job of the hot one. I think this is the one with R2 in it. Let's see if it's complete. So we have the patch and the pin. And oh, yeah, we have the R2, the one from Jedi. Love that one. We have the Jabba mug, the C3PO hat. And the little Boba Fett plushie. This is probably going up in value too. Any Boba Fett stuff is hot right now. All right, so that's a really cool box. I do have that one already. So I might sell it as a box. Not 100% sure. Uh, we have the double pack. It's the Spartan cheerleaders from Saturday Night Live. I do not have that one. That one's going into my collection. Very cool. Funny sketch. Okay, that is neat. Uh, we have a Scooby-Doo, the original one. I think this one has a little value now. So that is really cool. I don't remember if I have that one or not. That one, I'm going to have to double check. Okay, we have the Catwoman Deluxe Pop. I absolutely love this pop. I think it's undervalued. I think she just looks so cool. And adorable at the same time. She's kind of cute, kind of awesome, kind of amazing. Undervalued pop. Love that one. And uh, finally, we have one large thing. We have the Wonder Woman Dorbs Ride. Absolutely love this thing. I don't remember if I have this one. So that one might be going into my collection. I might have her out of the box, but not in the box. I'm gonna have to double check that because she is awesome. Okay, very awesome first box. All right, so this is the second box from Lucy and her family. They actually traded in pops in the last video, if you guys saw that. So again, this is more pops from their collection. I think they're just going through them and kind of decide what to keep and what to pare down just to make a little bit more room in their collection. Again, they dropped it off last weekend and she said I had time to go through it. So it's a complete mystery to me and that is a lot of fun. All right, let's dig through this box. Okay, so this is the second box from Lucy. Uh, let's see if it's more toy. No, nope, looks like a bunch of pops. Okay, that is cool. Let's just start digging in. All right. I don't know what's in this box. So I don't know if it's stuff I need. Stuff I have. Uh, okay. Bazooka Joe Target exclusive. This one I do have. But I have a lot of ad icon fans that come into the shop. So that one definitely will sell really quickly. Okay. Next we have Original Beast. I love this pop. I think he's really cool. Kind of undervalued. Um, I do have him already though. So I'm sure someone will want to pick him up. Very cool pop. Uh, oh, okay. We have the original Aurora. Uh, 2015. I think she has a little bit of value. She's probably vaulted. That one I have to double check if I have or not. Uh, oh, I don't think I ever got this one. So we have the Kraglin from Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2 from the extra scene. It's a 2018 San Diego Comic Con exclusive. That is really neat. That one's going into my collection. I think. I'm going to double check that. Oh, I think this one is vaulted too. So we have Mr. Potts and Chip. I do think I have this one though, but I think a couple of my patrons would want that. So I'm going to double check their want list. Uh, okay, we have another older vaulted one. We have Odin. don't think it has too much value. Maybe like the $20 to $30 range. 
bought a really awesome pop. I'm sure someone would be really happy to get that. Uh, okay, we have Ares from the Wonder Woman movie. It's a 2017 San Diego Comic-Con exclusive. Uh, I never really liked that pop that much. Uh, next we have the Freddy Funko Spring Convention exclusive from 2018. I don't think I have him. He is really cool. That one's going into my collection. Awesome. I love getting the limited pops. And if they're undervalued, you know, I think he's only a $20, $30 pop. I'm thrilled to have him because he's, he still has a very limited number. Uh, okay, we have another Notorious B.I.G. Now, I guess this jacket is shiny. So I was confusing Trisha's one. He is cool. I do have that one already. Okay. Uh, next, we have Stefan from Saturday Night Live. I don't think I have that one, so that one's going into my collection. Uh, okay, we have a... Was it 1989 Batman? Love that one. He is so cool. do have that one already, but I'm sure someone will want it. Uh, with this one, I'm super excited for because I was not able to get it. So we have a 2019 Officer Freddy. That one I really wanted and I couldn't get at the convention, so I'm actually thrilled to pick him up going into the collection. Uh, okay, we have, oh, we have the Diamond Maleficent. It's Hot Topic exclusive. I actually don't remember if I got that one. That one might actually be going in my collection. That's actually pretty awesome. Uh, okay, this one I think has some value. We have the GameStop exclusive Stone Cold Steve Austin. A Volted Pop. A uh, couple of my patrons, I think, want this one. So I'm going to double check their want list. It might be going to them. If not, Tito might want that one. I have to triple check. Okay, next we have the Diamond Ursula from Hot Topic. She is cool looking. I don't remember if I got that one. So that one actually might be going into my collection. Okay, this is fun. There's a lot of cool, like a little bit better. I think their first round of stuff they sold me was kind of the cheaper stuff. But now I think they start hitting some of their like $20 or $30 pops. Uh, okay, from Big Hero 6, we have Fred. This one looks like it's kind of beat up. So the value is going to be kind of low on him. But he is an awesome pop. I do really love that movie. I think that movie was fantastic. All right, I'm seeing better stuff as we go in. <laughs> Can go through the row though. Okay, we have uh, Avengers Age Ultron Captain America. Very cool pop. Pretty sure I have that one. Uh, all right, I'm just going to grab this one because I want to look at her. So we have the Common Merida. Absolutely love this pop. Now, I think I have her, but I might just have the rarer version of her. So that one I'm going to have to double check. If I do have her, though, I know a couple of my patrons love Disney stuff. So this will probably go to them. Just because that's one that's kind of like rare or hard to get pops. Okay, next we have the Leonardo from the Ninja Turtles. He's got some value. Definitely an awesome bolted pop. I do have that one already. But someone's going to be happy to get that. Okay. I like getting the rare stuff. Uh, okay, we have Ham from Toy Story. Pretty sure I have that one already. He's cool, though. I love Toy Story. Okay, next we have a Andre the Giant. He is cool. Uh, I think I actually have him. I do like some of the 80s wrestling pops, especially if they were actors or they were in movies. And since he was in The Princess Bride, I love The Princess Bride. So I do kind of like that pop. So I think I have him already, but I'm going to double check. Okay, next we have, uh, this is really cool. We have Steven from Steven Universe. It's the Hot Topic Glows in the Dark exclusive. Uh, the box is a little bit dirty. I'm gonna have to clean it up, but I'm actually really happy to get this. I know I'm missing a couple from this set and it bums me out because they all kind of skyrocketed in value. Absolutely love this set. I'm gonna double check. If I don't have them, I'm thrilled. And if I do have them, I'm sure someone else will be really happy to get them. Awesome pop. Okay, next we have uh, more wrestling. We have Roman Reigns. This one I know has some value to it. So he'll be for sale. I'm sure someone will be very happy to pick him up. Uh, next we have John Cena. I actually don't think I have this one. I have a couple other versions of him. And I do like to collect any wrestlers that go on to kind of act. So that one's going into my collection. Uh, okay, what do we have here? We have... Oh, this is cool. So we have the... Steven Universe Amethyst, but this is the pre-release sticker version. Oh, that is really cool. I think I have her, but I don't think I have her with the pre-release sticker. So that one's going into my collection. Awesome. Awesome, awesome. Uh, oh, okay, this one is cool. So we have the original Rock. I don't think I have him. I think I just have the newer versions of him. And I think he's vaulted, so he has some value. That one's going to my collection. Very cool. Uh, next, we have more Steven Universe. We have the Garnet with the pre-release sticker. That's amazing. So she's going into my collection. 
Love that. Very cool pop. Uh, oh, we have a Pop Asia pop here. So we have, ooh, okay. So this is the Playfair Canagon. This one is really hard to get. And I think it has some value. That one's going to my collection. That one's amazing. Awesome pop. Okay, and then we have, ooh, okay. We have Shredder from the Ninja Turtles. Uh, box is a little bit dirty. I'm gonna have to clean that up a bit, but someone's going to definitely want that one. Shredder is cool. Okay, sweet. They have a lot of good vaulted pops in this collection. Okay, and then finally, we have the Queen of Hearts from Alice in Wonderland. She is such a cool pop. Uh, I think I have this one already, but I'm going to have to double check. If not, I'm sure one of my patrons might want her. So that is cool. All right. I really enjoyed that box. A lot of awesome stuff. All right. This is the third box from Lucy and her family. Again, she dropped it off last weekend. So it's a complete mystery to me. I don't know what's in it. And I'm going to have a lot of fun digging through it. All right, let's go through this box. All right, this is the final box from Lucy and her family. It's a total mystery to me. Let's see what's inside. Oh, this is bigger stuff. Okay. All right. Oh, 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 okay. Wait, <laughs> I see one rare pop in there. Oh, that is cool. So we have the Playfair Ultraman. Oh, that's sweet. I do not have that one. He is also really hard to get. I really wanted this one and the other one from the other box. So that's awesome. Adding that to the collection. Uh, okay, we have some bigger stuff. We have the original Baymax. I do love Big Hero 6. I think it's such an underappreciated movie. Awesome pop. And fun fact, it's the very first movie we took the cool kid. He was a little teeny kid at the time and we couldn't get through the whole movie. But still, it's exciting to me that this is the first movie I ever took him to. Okay, and then we have the regular Baymax. Or not the regular, the armored Baymax. He's amazing. Absolutely love that pop. Do have it already. Uh, okay, we have a few more small things, a few more big things. Uh, ooh, what's this? Okay, we have a Teddy Ruxpin outfit. That is neat. My sister had one of these back in the mid 80s. Yeah, 85. I was nine years old when this came out. I might keep that just because I'm very nostalgic for it. That is amazing. Uh, okay, we have a couple single pops. So we have a Gohan, Ohan, Johan. How do you say his name? I get made fun of when I... Someone told me to stop doing Dragon Ball Z videos. They basically told me to stop saying Johan, Gohan, whoever the heck his name is. But I don't know how to say it. I'm very bad at pronouncing names. And I'm still, you know, I like the design. And I know a lot of you guys like Dragon Ball Z. So I'm going to keep showing them. It doesn't matter if someone tells me to stop or not. I, because I love doing it. I'm going to keep showing them. So that's a cool pop. I do have him already. And then we have Krillin from Dragon Ball Z. It's a very awesome pop. I do have him already. Uh, oh, okay. We have the Captain Marvel subscription box. I think I have this box. I might just have the parts though. I might not have the full box. So we have a really cute Captain Marvel shirt. I do like that. Okay. And then we have the Marvel Collector Core exclusive Captain Marvel and Nick Fury. And I'm not sure what the extra little figure is. It must be a little statue or something. This one, I'm actually, it feels heavy. Maybe it's a glass. This one, I don't know. See, I don't think I have this box. I think I just have the pops and not the full box. So I might actually sell my individual ones and keep this whole set. Oh yeah, this is just a really nice Captain Marvel glass. I do like glassware. With cool characters printed on. That is neat. Very cool box. I actually, I didn't realize they included, I wish more of the boxes had the actual glasses and not like the cheap plastic mugs and stuff. That's actually a really nice, nice box. So I'll probably keep this box and sell the individual pops I have already. Uh, okay. Okay, we have another Shenron. We have the really cool gold Shenron. I love this pop. His value is back down to about retail. For a while there, he was like 30 or 40, but I think he's under 20 now. Still a very awesome pop, and anyone who doesn't have him will want him, so he'll sell easy. Awesome pop. Okay, and then uh, we have a Deadpool collector core box. Let's uh, check this out. I think this is the one with the where he's riding the unicorn, I'm guessing, which I don't know if I... Yeah, it's that one. I don't know. I might have him out of the box, but not in the box like this. So again, I might keep the box. Although it's missing the t-shirt. So I might, I'll probably keep it anyway, but I'll sell the extra parts that I have. So that's a very cool box. I 
do kind of like to keep my boxes complete when I can, just as a collectible. And that's it. That's everything in that box. So that was a lot of fun. Whew. All right, this is a giant box of 36 pops. This comes from Trisha again. So it's going to be a lot of anime stuff. And I'm going to have a lot of fun going through this box. All right, let's dig through this box. Okay, so this is another box from Trisha. I believe it's all anime stuff again, or maybe a couple of those mixed in. But I'm going to have a lot of fun with this box because I think it's a lot of fun stuff. All right. Ooh, okay. Let's see if I can do this. Yes. Okay, let's start digging in here. We have the 2019 ECC Comic Con exclusive Gajil Dragon Force. Really awesome pop. Not really valuable, but I think it's neat. Very awesome. Uh, ooh, okay. This is a nice big boy. We have the Black and White Colossal Titan. It's a FYE exclusive. I do have this one, but I think he has a bit of value. So someone's going to be really happy to get that. Uh, okay, we have a Box Warehouse exclusive Metallic Todoroki from My Hero Academia. I do have that one already. But again, I have to check my page and see if any of them want him. Uh, okay, we have Siri from The Witcher. It's a E3 exclusive from 2019. Love this pop. Uh, this one looks like it's a bit dented, so I'll have to discount her. But I do have her already, so she'll be for sale. Uh, okay, we have the Winry Rock Bell from Full Metal Alchemist. I don't remember if I have her or not. She's a really cool pop. I have to double check if I need her. Okay, next we have uh, Roy Mustang from Full Metal Alchemist. I have to double check if I have him or not. I might need that one. Uh, okay, we have some more cool six inch pops. We have the Armored Titan. Absolutely love this pop. I think I have him already, so he'll be for sale. Uh, next we have the Endeavor, the one where he's like lunging forward. I do not have that one yet, so that's really cool. That one's going in my collection. That's the second version of him. Uh, ooh, okay, we have the Himiko Toga. It's uh, just her common version, but I don't think I have her. I think I just have the exclusive. So that one's going in my collection. Actually really happy to get that. Love My Hero Academia. Okay, next we have the Glows in the Dark Hot Topic exclusive Silver Age All Might. That one I'm pretty sure I have already, so he'll be for sale. Or I have to double check my patrons. Okay, next we have the really cool Funko Shop exclusive TJ. That's, uh, I guess, yeah, spastic plastic. I don't remember if I have them or not. I actually might need that one. I do really like the spastic plastic line, so that one is cool. Okay, next we have the female Titan. She is cool. I'm pretty sure I have her already, though, so she'll be for sale. Uh, okay, next we have the Cowboy Bebop t-shirt set with the flocked in that one i think i might have him but i don't know if i have the full t-shirt set so that one actually might be going in my collection very cool okay and then we have the Geralt igni version it's a glows in the dark gamestop exclusive very awesome i do have him already he's a little dented so i have to discount him but he is awesome i'm sure someone will want that i really love the witcher show my wife loved it too. She's waiting for the next season. Uh, okay, next we have the Notorious B.I.G. with Crown. Uh, I have this one already, but he'll sell really well. Anytime I get him, he blows out of the store real quick. Uh, next we have the Entertainment Exclusive Glows in the Deku. And he has like a sticker. Something... The Peters exclusive. I'm not sure what that sticker is. I don't know if that's something they stuck in the box that's extra or it's actually part of the figure. I'm going to have to double check that. I think I do have him though, so he'll be for sale. Okay, next we have uh, Lord Boros from One Punch Man. He's amazing. I love that one. Uh, I do have him already though, so he'll be for sale. I wish they would do more One Punch Man stuff. Do love those pops. Okay, we have a Koye from the 2018 New York Comic Con. Love this one because her wig's detachable. I wish they would do more detachable wig figures. She is awesome. Or like hats or some other detachable figure. I do have her already though, so she'll be for sale. Uh, next we have Marceline. The box is a bit beat up, but I'm sure someone will want her because she is awesome. Love Marceline. Then we have uh, the other version of Marceline, the one where she's wearing a hat. Love that one as well. I do have her, so she'll be for sale. 
Both of those will sell really easy, though. I like Jam Pops in demand. Even if they're a little beat up, someone will want them. Uh, okay, we have the All Might Teacher. Pretty sure I have this version of him. He is awesome, though. Next, we have the Kama Naruto. I think I have that one, so that one will be for sale. Okay, next we have the Silver Age All Might, the common version. Do have that one already, so he'll be for sale. And again, I'm going to check my patrons, but I'm sure most of them have that version. Uh, next we have the Yoko Kurama Hot Top Exclusive. Absolutely love this one with the clear flowers going around them. Ah... Uh, this one, I think I just got recently in another video, so this will be for sale. But I believe my patrons wants that pop. Very cool. Okay, next we have the Mei Hasume Hot Top Exclusive. Absolutely love this pop. I do have her already, though, so that'll be for sale. Sure someone else will want it, though. Or one of my patrons probably will. Okay, next we have... Oh, okay, we have the Humiko Toga AAA Anime Exclusive. I actually think this is the third version of her. I actually might not have this version. I'm going to have to double check, because if I don't have her, I'm thrilled to have her. And if I do have her, then I'm sure someone else will be thrilled to have her. Very cool pop. Okay, next we have the Kaguya Atsutsuki. Can't say that right. It's a 2020 New York Comic Con exclusive from Naruto. I love the way this pop looks. Very cool and creepy. Awesome pop. I don't remember if I have this one. I might actually need her. Come on over here. Okay, next we have the Junji Ito Sochi. It's a... Uh, not sure the anime, but I love this pop. He's so creepy, but awesome. I love the little teeny character in his hand. I love that. It's a 2020 New York Comic Con exclusive. That one's going to my collection. Awesome. Love it. Okay, and then we have the Danny Phantom... Uh, it's a 2020 New York Comic Con exclusive. I don't remember if I have it with the con sticker, so I might be keeping that one. If not, I'm sure someone will want it. And finally, we have Susuke from Naruto. Very cool looking pop. I don't remember if I have that one or not, so that one might be going in my collection. All right, very awesome. Love it. That was a great box. All right, we have another large box of probably a little bit less than 36 pops from Trisha. Still a ton of pops. Ooh, I'm tired. <laughs> a lot of pops in this video. But again, this is going to be a lot of anime stuff. I'm going to have a lot of fun with this box. Let's dig through it. Okay, so I have another box here from Trisha. This is, I believe, again, all anime stuff. Maybe a little bit extra mixed in. But I think we're going to have fun with this box. All right, let's dig in. Oh, yeah. I see the good stuff. Okay, let's see what we got. We got Vicious from Cowboy Bebop. Very cool pop. Do we have that one already? We have Adrian Tepes from Castlevania. Pretty sure I have that one as well. Do love that pop though. We have uh, Alita Berserker Body version, FYE exclusive. Uh, I love the old school manga and anime. I also love the movie. I wish they would do sequels to it, but she's cool. Do have her already, but I think underappreciated. We have the Naruto Uzumaki Sexy Jitsu Box Lunch exclusive. She's adorable. I don't think I have her, so that one's going to my collection. Uh, let's see, we have the Alex Armstrong GameStop exclusive. He's super cool looking. Pretty sure I have that one already. Next, we have the Orochimaru. It's a Naruto pop. That one, I don't know if I have. Very cool, though, with the little snakes coming off them. Awesome pop. I love that. Okay. Okay, next we have Sakura from Naruto. She's really cute. I love that pop. Uh, next we have the Ymir from Attack and Titan. Super cool pop. Pretty sure I have that one already. The Glows in the Dark Naruto Six Path version from Hot Topic. I think I have that one already. Very cool looking pop though. Like it's a monochrome color, but they colored in the eyes and a couple of the details. I like when they do that. It just makes it pop a little bit. Uh, okay, next we have Vegeta Eating Noodles. It's a 2020 Comic-Con exclusive. Very cool pop. I do have that one already. So a lot of duplicates for me so far. Uh, original comment, Achoko. I do have her, so that one will be for sale. Next, we have Ed from Cowboy Bebop. Uh, pretty sure I have that pop. Next, we have the Hot Topic Deku. That one I'm pretty sure I have already. 
Again, I'll have to double check my patrons though. Uh, okay, we have the common All Might. That one, I'm pretty sure I have already. We have the Toy Tokyo exclusive Notorious B.I.G. This one sells very well in my shop, so he'll probably be sold this weekend. Uh, next, we have the Asuka from Evangelion. This one, I love this pop. I do have her already, though, so that one will be for sale. Pretty sure that one will sell pretty quickly, though. Uh, oh, this is the one I really love. It's the Alphonse Eric with Kittens. It's a Hot Top exclusive. Love this pop. This is one of my all-time favorite pops. Might even be in my top 10. Awesome pop. Uh, next, we have Blue Fangs from Castlevania. I don't have that one yet. Very cool, creepy monster. That one's going in my collection, and I'm thrilled to have it. I love cool, creepy monsters like that. Uh, okay, this one has some value, but I think it was damaged. It's the Aaron Titan form. Uh, yeah, the box is like ripped and dented here. I'm going to take out the box so you can see it better, because I know someone's going to ask for it, because very expensive pop. Yeah, so it's like torn right there and kind of creased right here. So because of that damage, I value that probably like half the pop price guide, which means it's still probably like a 50 to 60 dollar pop. But uh, I'm sure someone will still want it just because getting it for half price is kind of cool. Uh, we have Trevor Belmont from Castlevania. I don't have that one. That one's going into my collection. Very cool pop. Uh, the original Aaron Yeager. I have three of him, all different weird variants. So this one I'm definitely selling. It's a duplicate. I'm sure someone will want him though. He's kind of pricey. Uh, next we have Midnight Galactic Toys exclusive. Uh, I do have her, so she'll be for sale, but I'm sure one of my patrons will want her. Uh, Vlad Dracula Tepes from Castlevania. I'm pretty sure I have that one already, so I'll hope you for sale. We have a uh, Legolas from Lord of the Rings. Very cool pop. Uh, pretty sure I have them already, so that one will be for sale. Next, we have a uh, Erwin from Attack on Titan. Pretty sure I have him, so that will be for sale. We have a, oh, I love this one. We have the Super Saiyan Vegeta in red chrome. It's a 2019 Comic-Con exclusive. Very cool pop. I'm sure someone will want that. Next, we have the Annie Lionheart from Attack on Titan. I don't remember if I have Annie, so I might actually need that one. All right, next we have Sue from My Hero Academia. Is that how you say her name? Sue or Suyu? I think it's Sue. I don't remember, but I love her. She's really cool. I do have that one already though, so that'll be for sale. Next, we have the Armin Arlet. It's a FYE exclusive. Pretty sure I have that one already, so it'll be for sale. We have the Badman Vegeta Hot Top exclusive. That one I have already. Okay, next we have the Sonic with Emerald. Very cool pop. I'm sure someone will want that one. Okay, we have the Cepha... Balnades? Is that how you say the name? From Castlevania. I don't have that one yet. I didn't realize they made so many pops for this. That is cool. That's going on my collection. Awesome. Uh, next we have the black and white Aaron Jaeger. This one I actually think I need. So I'm actually really happy to get that because that's kind of a rare or more expensive pop. Awesome. All right. Next we have... The GameStop exclusive Fuma Cage Tokuyami. It's the metallic version from My Hero Academia. Very cool pop. I think this is the one that came with the t-shirt, so I have that one already. But I have a feeling one of my patients will want that. All right, next we have the Translucent John Cena. It's an Amazon exclusive. I believe there's two sticker variants of him, and I have both, so he'll be for sale. Okay, finally we have the Moff Gideon with the Mandalorian with the Darksaber. Love that pop. I don't have him yet, so he's going to my collection. Uh, I need to fill in this set. A little dusty. I'll have to clean that up, but that's okay. He is awesome. Uh, definitely going into my collection. All right, so that box is awesome. I had a lot of fun with it. Ooh, that was a huge amount of Funko Pops. I had a fun time going through so many Funko Pops in one video. I'm going to put a couple other mega epic Funko Pop hauls right there. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.